The modern man undertakes scientific investigation in his spare time. Testing equipment is meticulously examined prior to testing. Every detail is vital. Real-time parameters will be measured and recorded. Today he will determine the energy use of the electric motor vehicle at various parameters. Okay, run number one today is just going to be a baseline. No heater, no nothing. Um, just basically cruising at 75 miles per hour around the same uh, about 35 mile loop of freeways. Uh, the temperature is quite different today. It's uh, Now it's 53 degrees outside. Um, so compared to the last set of studies, that's going to make a difference. There's also a little bit of wind uh, today, which I've noticed driving in heavy winds, it definitely um, definitely can make a difference in uh, increased energy use. Um, which makes sense, I mean, if you're going faster, you use more energy because there's more air resistance. So if the wind is, if the air is moving as well, obviously you're going to use more energy. So, um, but it's not, it's not too bad, so I don't think it's going to... I think it's going to be within the margin of error. Um, yeah, so we'll do this loop, establish sort of uh, the baseline energy used for today, and then compare it with the same loop uh, traveling with other features on or off. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, that was uh, leg one of our uh, round trip. Let's check out the stats. Okay. Watt hours per mile, 348. Uh, quite reduced from the last time we tried this. 34.3 um, <clears throat> miles, and that was a total of almost 12 um, kilowatt hours. That's quite a bit less than uh, last time. Um, the base when I was driving around in, you know, 10, 15 degree weather was uh, 396 watt hours per mile. Um, so this is basically 50 watt hours per mile less, um, which is actually quite significant. Uh, that's very interesting. And again, it's 51 degrees out today. Uh, there is some wind, but um, probably is, at least for this test, negligible. I would have liked it to be completely still out, but um, I'll take it. Um, so I think on the next leg, um, I think I'm gonna try it with range mode on. So let's go ahead and turn that 
oops, turn that on. Uh, I think it's in driving, and here we go, here's range mode. So we'll turn it on, and if you're not familiar with range mode, uh, it reduces um, energy use by reducing climate control power and distribution of torque whoops, between the front and back motors. So there you go. And one of the things, um, one of the ways it does that with the climate um, is up here, if you look at the fan speed, it only goes to eight, whereas uh, normally climate control would go all the way up to 11. So that's a difference there. We are back and charging up. So now for leg two, which was 75 miles per hour, no heater, and range mode on. Check out the numbers. So we got down to 332 watt hours per mile. Uh, same distance and 11.4 uh, kilowatt hours instead of 11.9. Um, so we saved about half a kilowatt hour and um, let's see, 32, last time it was 48, so that's about, uh, what is that, 16? Uh, yeah, 16 watt hours per mile difference. That's certainly not a huge, huge difference. Um, I mean, 15, 16 watt hours per mile. Again, if you're gonna go 100 miles between uh, one supercharger and the other, uh, that's gonna be, you know 1.5 kilowatt hours so that's like I mean if you're if you have a usable 65 um, 65 kilowatt hours in a 70 uh, battery you know you're looking at 2% of your battery is saved if uh, if you use <coughs> um, range mode the entire way uh, going 75 miles per hour so I mean yeah 2% uh, could could mean the difference if you're really getting tight of getting there and not um, but overall it's a it's a small difference but really it's just nice to know that um, that there is a difference actually um, if if it was less than I mean if it was only five even close to ten watt hours per mile difference I mean that's kind of within the margin of error even though I am driving um, the exact same route and it's 35 miles long which is pretty long um, you know to round out all kinds of errors um, uh, random errors anyway in uh, in averages um, but I, th I think that's enough to round it out pretty well so um, I think the difference is significant um, even though it's you know mild to moderate I also wanted to highlight that uh, these tests were done at 75 miles per hour. The reason I did that is because I wanted to do tests at high speeds um, because speed is a huge factor in uh, energy efficiency and 75 is about the fastest I can go on the freeways here. Um, you know there's interstates again where the speed limits are 80 and I think even 85 in some areas so energy use is going to be even higher then. Um, conversely, if you're on a on a um, you know a divided highway or something where the speed limit is less, say 55 or 60 miles per hour, efficiency efficiency is going to be even better. And that's another test I would like to do is uh, slightly slower speed, maybe going um, 60 or 65. I don't know if I could go 60 on the freeways; so that would be pretty slow here. Um, but anyway, even a difference of 10 miles per hour. Uh, can can make a big difference in energy use. In fact, that's what uh, that's what TripAdvisor will tell you to do if you're really getting low on on energy. It'll tell you to slow down to make it to your destination, and that's because slowing down is the most um, impactful thing uh, or factor to change that can uh, increase your range uh, by decreasing energy use. 
I also wanted to highlight that uh, these tests were done at 75 miles per hour. The reason I did that is because I wanted to do tests at high speeds um, because speed is a huge factor in uh, energy efficiency and 75 is about the fastest I can go on the freeways here. Um, you know there's interstates again where the speed limits are 80 and I think even 85 in some areas so energy use is going to be even higher then. Um, conversely, if you're on a on a um, you know a divided highway or something where the speed limit is less, say 55 or 60 miles per hour, efficiency efficiency is going to be even better. And that's another test I would like to do is uh, slightly slower speed, maybe going um, 60 or 65. I don't know if I could go 60 on the freeways; so that would be pretty slow here. Um, but anyway, even a difference of 10 miles per hour. Uh, can can make a big difference in energy use. In fact, that's what uh, that's what TripAdvisor will tell you to do if you're really getting low on on energy. It'll tell you to slow down to make it to your destination, and that's because slowing down is the most um, impactful thing uh, or factor to change that can uh, increase your range uh, by decreasing energy use. I would like to do another test, but I don't have time. I have to get home um, because um, I have to take one of our dogs to a vet appointment today, so yeah.